how to create presentations quickly and easily. Making slides is one of the most boring, tedious tasks ever, whether it's a sales deck, a project briefing, or a unit report, nobody really enjoys them. But if you use AI tools the right way, you can whip up pro-level presentation in just a few minutes. I will show you some popular presentation builders, explain how they work, and share a few tips on nailing perfect slides every time. There are basically two main ways to make presentations. If you are aiming for something simple, go with fully automated builders. Your results might not be super polished and you won't have much control over each slide, but it's the fastest approach and all you really do is type your name in the first slide. If you need a more detailed, professional looking presentation, spend a bit more time finding or organizing your data, then let AI handle the layout and design. All these presentation builders follow a similar pattern. After signing up and clicking the create button, you'll usually see one or two options, sometimes both. One is a prompt window where you type in your presentation topic. The other is a menu for uploading a document with your data. And I do recommend taking care of your data first using ChatGPT or Claude. To do it effectively, read the prompt and guides we've come up with at Geekademy. Now, here's what goes on behind the scenes in both cases. If you upload your own text, the builder splits it into thematically fitting sections, ready to go in different slides. Then it analyzes all of that text to decide which template fits best. These builders don't invent brand new designs. They rely on built-in templates. Those templates can change from slide to slide depending on what info appears or how long the text is. Some of these tools are advanced enough to create infographics for you, while others can't even handle a simple table. The builder also picks a design theme automatically, guided by the topic. Once your text is placed where it needs to be and any infographics are generated, the tool goes looking for images. It does this by scanning each slide for keywords and checking stock image libraries for a match. There's no real understanding going on. It just grabs the first image that seems to fit. When it's done dropping in the images, you've got your presentation. Some builders add extra touches like random animations or speaker notes to finish things off. With prompt-based builders, the process is basically the same as with other AI-driven tools, except the text for your slides is created by an internal LM, like ChatGPT. These presentations usually don't give you much control over the final content, so you're pretty much stuck with whatever the AI decides to generate. What we're doing here, learning, is absolutely key when it comes to AI. Like I said in one of our previous videos, if you want to thrive in this field, you've got to learn AI. While I was hunting for a solid course, I came across Simply Learns AI and machine learning programs. They are sponsoring this video and they have a ton of options, varied topics, different lengths. So you can pick whatever works for you. The platform is known for its boot camps and courses that can really boost your career. One of my favorites is a Microsoft backed AI engineer course, it covers everything from the basics to advanced concepts like generative AI, deep learning, and prompt engineering. You will work on over 25 real world projects in a capstone, which means you'll walk away with with hands-on experience, pretty much job-ready skills. Plus, there are specialized electives in everything from NLP to advanced generative AI, and even prep for the Microsoft Azure AI 900 exam. Over the course of 140 plus hours of live sessions, you will learn directly from industry pros. You'll also get master classes led by Microsoft experts. By the end, you'll score a certificate from Microsoft itself, giving you a serious edge in the job market. The programs rated four and a half stars on SwitchUp and course report plus four and a half stars on career karma so it clearly has a track record and if you need financing simply learn offers flexible options to help you invest in your future without breaking the bank if you're ready to take that step and unlock your potential in ai and machine learning just head to the link in the description or pin comment to check out simply learn it's a chance to level up your skills and explore a world of ai possibilities 
Prompt and for presentation builders is a lot like prompt and LM, such as ChatGPT. You still have to be very clear and direct about what you need and how you want it done. That means given plenty of context, like who your audience is, what tone you're aiming for, and the style you want. Sure, you can just say a presentation on whales, but then you'll end up with something super basic that doesn't include the info you really wanted. Remember, AI can't read minds. The perfect prompt for presentation builder starts with you clearly stating what type of presentation you want. Is it a pitch deck, a university project, sales report, or something else? Then make sure to include the goal of the presentation. What do you want the audience to learn or do once they've seen it? After specifying your objective, talk about who will be watching this presentation. How familiar are they with the topic? This helps the builder adapt the text to your audience's level. Next, decide on the format and length of your presentation. Some builders let you choose how many slides or the presentation type yourself. If that's the case, don't repeat it in your prompt. If you've got an outline in mind, like a list of points you want to cover, put it in there. It can be simple bullet points or a more detailed plan for each slide. This step is optional, but it's a good idea to give it at least a few hints about what you want to include. And finally, wrap up your prompt by specifying the writing style and tone. Should it be casual and fun or formal and detailed? And don't forget to mention how you want it to look visually. If the builder asks you to pick a theme or style separately, skip that part in your prompt. But if all you have is one prompt window, include as many details as you can think of. So the ultimate prompt for a tool that only wants a single prompt would look something like this. Create a pitch deck, 12 slides for investors, the name of the project, its goal, and the goal of the presentation, venture capitalist as the audience, professional style, clear language, here's an outline, and a few design suggestions. I know the prompt is huge, but it works. I always say that it's better to write a good prompt once than spend hours fixing a bad one. Almost all presentation builders come as standalone platforms, you know, websites, and they all have one common flaw. You have to get used to them. And let's be honest, nobody likes figuring out where all the buttons are, how to customize presentations, making extra accounts, and so on. So a somewhat better solution would be using tools that work as an added layer over well-known apps like Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint. Everyone's familiar with those. So all you really need to learn is how to use the add-on. There are thousands of AI tools, and instead of browsing through the sea of options, you can open AI Tool Finder and Geekademy and ask it for a specific type of tool I need. It will give you a list of AI tools that fit your needs. You can ask questions about the tools, ask for tips and so on. And if you are a Geekademy member, you'd also get an image generator, an option to have a voice chat with a virtual copy of me, and a ton of educational material. PDFs with prompt templates, hand-picked tool collections, prompt and guides, AI news reports, and so much more. We're also working on unique educational videos that you won't find on YouTube only for Geek Academy members. We are creating the biggest and most useful educational hub for all AI enthusiasts, so click the link in the description to join and let's make Geek Academy great together. There are a lot of options in the market, but I found Plus AI to be the most versatile one. For starters, it has a version for both Google Slides and PowerPoint. It's a native integration, meaning the content can be edited, shared and used just like any other slide deck in PowerPoint or Google Slides. Plus AI can generate full presentations or single slides, rewrite your slides and reformat existing slides into a new layout in seconds. It can also help you create charts and images for your slide deck. What's cool with Plus AI is that I can simply paste my own text onto the slide, then ask the AI to reformat it and make it look nice. We'll take whatever text I pasted and build the slide around it. But if I want, I can have the AI rewrite the text too. I just click edit with AI, remix, then pick a layout I like. Couldn't be easier. And with the same tool, I can also generate presentations from scratch, just like I mentioned. I click on new presentation and choose how I want to generate it using a prompt, a file, or slide by slide. Then I set the presentation type and describe the topic and contents in the prompt window. Next, I pick a template, customize the suggested outline, and boom, it's done. All in a familiar environment using elements that are guaranteed to work on any device I will show the presentation on. 
If I go to Geekademy's AI tool finder and ask for the best AI presentation builders, it will suggest some great options. Some of these are really cool. If I were making my own list, I'd start with Presentations AI. It's definitely one of the most advanced presentation generators out there. First, it creates an outline before generating the slides themselves. Second, each slide has a different design. What's really interesting is how unique these designs are. Almost everything on each slide is animated. There's not a single slide that looks like any other. Another good option is SlidesGo. I've shown it before. It makes presentations from a single prompt and lets you download them for free, no subscription. The designs are quite cool and there are a bunch of templates to pick from. It's not the most customizable, but it's still a solid, straightforward choice. One warning, it can crash when <laughs> generating a presentation. So I suggest writing your prompt in your notes first and then copy pasting it into the tool. I would also recommend Sense Steps if you're a teacher, creates interactive presentations that are great for learning new material. The slides themselves are pretty basic, but the fact that you can have people join in and answer questions more than makes up for its other downsides. But my favorite right now is Gamma App. I think it's the most flexible and user-friendly app, and the quality is awesome right from the start. Every slide looks nice with varied colors, good image placement, and it really sticks to any guidelines you give it. The one downside is there aren't tons of templates. Sometimes you'll need to tweak a few things yourself, but for simple presentations, it's no big deal. So what's the perfect way to create presentations with AI? Here's how I would do it. I'd start by doing my own research with ChatGPT and its deep research feature. First, I'd ask it to create an outline and list any points I might want to include. Then I'd ask it to gather a bunch of details for each point one at a time so the research is actually thorough. I would do all of this using the L1 model. After I'm done collecting all the info, I would switch the model to GPT 4.5 and use this exact prompt. Use all the info above, the outline, and the research you made, and create me a detailed article on the topic following the outline formatted in a way that makes it easy to create a presentation out of it. If you want, you can add extra context like your job role, intended audience, and so on. The more details you give, the better ChatGPT can craft the text. If needed, I would do a few revisions here and there. Once I'm happy with the final version, I will type, now give me this article as docx file for me to download. Then I download the file and head over to one of the AI presentation builders I mentioned earlier, like Gamma App. In the menu, I'd select import file, then upload the file, choose presentation, and let the AI figure out the outline. Here, I can also tweak how the AI interprets my text, pick the image source, web search, stock platforms, or built-in image generation. I can add more instructions if I like, but that's optional. Then I select how many slides I want and wait. Slides will show up in real time completely with infographics and images. After all the slides load, I can do a bit of fine tuning, like swapping out watermark images. Sure, AI generate images might look a bit underwhelming in this editor and in most others too. I recommend either finding images yourself or generating them separately with AI tools. Or the AI Art Studio in Geek Academy, the quality is really solid. All you have to do is type slash imagine followed by your prompt. And plus you get lots of extra learning materials, not just the tool itself. Depending on which builder you pick, you could have more or fewer customization options. And if you use the Plus AI add-on, you will still have all the usual controls from whichever tool you're already used to. After doing all that, you should have a perfect presentation. Just add a title slide and a goodbye slide and you're set. Of course, you can create your own workflow for all this. Swap ChatGPT for Perplexity or DeepSeek Gamma for Canva. AI has really made presentations more fun, though we still need some human input. Five years ago, we only had automatic slide formatting in PowerPoint, and now AI can build the entire thing for us. It writes text, finds images, and sometimes even generates speaker notes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.